I loved this idea that these two characters would sustain an entire film from start to finish. I found that really interesting. I'd never read a script like that before. Um, and I also really believed in what the story says in terms of you can change as a person in immeasurable ways and it's perfectly possible to experience something in your life and never really be able to go back to the way your life once was before or what you thought your life was and what you thought your life was going to become. I had seen Hani Abu Asad's previous work and loved his storytelling. It's very, very simple and yet deals with extremely complex emotions that are very real and often quite difficult, I think, to portray on film um, because they're often bound up in conflict and tragedy and yet somehow he is able to convey those things on film in a really gentle way um, that is captivating and also humorous sometimes as well. It's perfectly possible to find moments of great random humour in extreme situations or moments of great tragedy and sadness and I really admired the way that he handles that in, in his filmmaking and uh, so I was excited to collaborate with him. And what we wanted was to tell an honest story um, and to try everything as many ways as we possibly could so that he would have freedom of choice when he got into the editing room. Um, and sometimes we would go to work and we would get one take of everything. In fact, there was one day on the mountain where every single thing we shot, we did in one take. So we did one scene, one take, moving on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, one take, because it was just so darn cold, you had to get through it. I mean, even taking off your gloves for two seconds was excruciating. <laughs> I'd never done anything even really close to this in terms of altitude. Running at altitude is absolute agony. Agony makes your chest burn. It is so horrible. And that was the one thing about this film that I really ha handled badly. I'd be like, oh, okay, oh, can't breathe. And I'm fit, I'm like fit strong, fit person. But that was one thing that I wasn't prepared for at all. Her courage to to go out and start trying to make that journey to safety and back to civilization is the thing that actually does drive the story forwards because otherwise they would be staying put in that plane crash, which is what he wants to do. So they definitely clash over, over their, their, their strategic maneuvers throughout the story. Um, but those are the things that bring them together. They have to obviously work together. They have to get through those differences. Um, and then it does take them to the point where they can't be without one another. Well, we were lucky because we really got on, we really got on very well and, and you just have to, you know, you just absolutely have to, just the two of us for that whole shoot, you know, no other actors, can you imagine? You know, we'd have a few scenes with other actors at the end and we'd be like, oh my God, another person. You know, we'd be like, oh thank God, someone new. Um, but we were lucky in that sense. And, um, you know, working together with Idris, it was completely brilliant because we have a totally different energy and actually different ways of working as well. Whereas I'm, you know, I'm quite a lot about dialogue and, and making sure that we've got the lines down and that we know what we're doing. Idris would be very much like, don't worry about that stuff. It's all about the energy. It's all about the atmosphere. And so we'd have to kind of adapt to each other's way of working because both way of working was completely relevant and, and, and we needed both of those qualities to be able to get through. So, so actually we did, I think, learn a lot from each other, um, which was really, really nice. Yeah, it was great. And, uh, you know, you, you, you need to have a good partner when you're doing something like that. So, yeah, we were lucky.